All right, class, so I'm going to show you how to do a bolt and nut assembly. Make sure you label this as 2.1.2, your last name, and the bolt and nut assembly, and make sure it's in the right class folder. So the first thing you want to do is um, you can go up to the top of your, um, <clears throat> your features up here above and make sure you download this app called the Thread Creator. So if I highlight over it, it says a feature from the Thread Creator start threadcreator.fs. So if you don't have this, which most of you wouldn't, you're going to go to add custom features. Um, you're going to search the thread creator. <clears throat> and you're going to search it and it should pop up. Um, I think this is version one. Let's see, star maybe that's the one. Yeah, so it should say the thread creator and then you should be able to click that. And um, it says the thread creator was added to your toolbar. And then I should have, you know, it, it's the same one, but I should have both of it. So that's going to be how you're going to create your thread there. Um, I'm going to just remove that. I don't need both of it. Okay. So, so once you have your thread creator up here, this is how you can create the thread for your, uh, your bolt and nut assembly. So we're going to start off with um, sketching from the top view. So I'm going to sketch from the top view. I'm going to sketch the um, a hexagon head. I'm going to go up here and grab my inscribed polygon from the center. I'm going to go out, um, just kind of line it up so it looks nice. So this is already six, so I'm going to hit enter. Um, I'm going to make the top and the bottom to be five, half an inch. So I'm going to dimension that to be half an inch. <clears throat> so top two, let's see, half an inch, and it should all go to uh, black in this bed dimension, okay? And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude this. So I'm going to accept my sketch, and I'm going to extrude, I believe, I'm going to extrude to be... Um, and let's see, 3 16th of an inch. Okay, so I'm going to extrude 3 16th of an inch. And I'm going to accept that. Let's see. Okay, so that looks good. All right, so then now I'm going to, um, round off the edges. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to sketch here and I'm going to um, cut up like these corners off the end. So I'm going to create a center circle. I'm going to get as close as I can to the to the um, <clears throat> to the edge and then I'm going to use my uh, tangent. Oh, no, that's perpendicular. A tangent and I'm going to snap the circle to the line right go and then I'm going to create another circle on the outside okay and what we did before in the screwdriver case is we're going to cut these little pieces off using a circular extrusion so I'm going to extrude <clears throat> and then I'm going to uh, select all these pieces right here clicking and selecting at the same time and then the outside circle as well okay and then I'm going to um, extrude to remove and then I'm gonna actually see what it looks like first okay so that's gonna go down so I'm gonna leave it one inch and see if that works okay so that didn't work so I'm gonna have to change the position of that I think it needs to go outward um, I think it's supposed to go that way. And oh, I'm supposed to do draft. Okay, so this right here is gonna be 60 degrees. Okay, and then let's go, let's put that back in the same position. Okay, and then um, outward. There we go. Let's see. Perfect. So 
there we go so 60 degrees and then now you're going to do the bottom so i'm going to do the bottom so i'm going to flip it this way i think this is the bottom view and then i'm going to do the same thing so i'm going to sketch um, i'm going to sketch on this plane right here and i'm going to go with my center circle i'm going to get as close as i can to the edge but then i'm going to use the tangent so it snaps from this circle out to the line and then I'm going to do the center circle center all the way out as well okay and it's just got to be greater than the circle inside and then I'm going to accept my sketch I'm going to go to extrude I'm going to select all of it so let's select this piece this piece this part is this little part and then going to um, taper. Okay, let's do a draft for a second. And then click that. And then I'm going to click draft, I believe 60 degrees. And then let's go in the opposite direction and then remove. I think that was the trick last time. Okay, let's see that and check. Okay, I think that's I think that's how it looks. Yep, there it is. So that's the head of my quilt. And then now for the pretty much the easy part is um, we're going to sketch another circle and then put some thread on it at the top. Okay, so I'm going to go to the top view. This is the view I'm going to look at. I'm going to put a circle in the middle of this and I'm going to dimension it uh, to be a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to go to dimension, dimension it to about a quarter of an inch. And I'm going to accept that and I'm going to extrude it out to be about one inch. So go extrude. I'm going to extrude this circle, just the inner circle. And I think one inch is good. I'm not going to do any draft to that. Okay, so then now I'm actually going to do uh, fine threads. Um, I'm actually do, um, I believe, a pitch of 28. So I'm going to go to my thread creator right here. Um, and then face to red. I'm going to select this face right here. Um, I'm going to use the, this is the American standard. That's the international standard. So let's use the American standard. And then this pitch is, as you see, that's super coarse. Um, we're going to do one divided by, uh, I believe it was 20. I think I'm going to do 28, one divided by 28. So this is going to be a very fine thread. Um, now we're start one fully threaded. So let's see how that works. And then check. And it should be really fine threads. There we go. And that is how you create your first quilt. And I'm going to go down here at the bottom. I'm going to move my face. <laughs> I'm going to rename this as my quilt. Okay. And then now I'm going to make my nut. All right, so I'm going to go to um, create a new part and I'm going to rename this as my nut. So this is going to be the nut that's going to um, screw onto the hole, right, the bolt right there. So I'm going to go from my top view. Um, first thing I'm going to do is sketch my hexagon um, from the center. Let's grab that. So inscribe on um, polygon. I'm going to sketch it from the center. I'm going to make it the same size as the other one on the outer. Oops, it's going to be six. And then I'm going to dimension this as half an inch from top to bottom. And then let's see, 10 to the bottom. It's going to be half an inch. So that perfectly lines up. And then I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to zoom in so I can kind of see it. So this is the part where. Um, we want to talk a little bit about tolerances um, and uh, like you know what do I need it to make sure that is a nice uh, fit it's like a loose fit so it actually screws in 
So I believe our original circle was 0.25. So I'm going to add, a, let's see, a 1 32nd tolerance to that. So, so that when I screw it together, it's going to be, um, it's going to actually fit. It's going to be nice and loose. So I'm going to call this 0.25. Plus, so I remember 132nd, and this is where you kind of play around and see um, the hole and everything that you need. I'm actually going to um, extrude this part. Okay. I'm going to extrude the part, this part right here. Okay. Okay, I'm going to extrude it as 516th of an inch. Check. Perfect. Let's check it. Make sure that it's good. Okay, so that's perfect. So then now I'm going to do my circular extrusion to remove the um, the edges. So um, I'm going to click on um, this right here. I'm going to create my circle. That's going to be tangent to my line. So I'm going to go to tangent, grab this circle, grab this line, make sure it snaps onto each other. And then I'm going to draw a circle that's bigger than that circle because I'm going to cut it out and I'm going to extrude just the little edges. Oops, that sketch. I'm going to extrude just the little edges all the way around. Okay, so I selected that. I'm going to accept everything, and then, um, oh, never mind. I'm going to. I have more to do. Um, I have to do draft 60 degrees. So taper out 60 degrees. I'm going to switch the position and then remove. Okay, let's see if that works. That did not work. Okay, let me see. Oh, it went the wrong, wrong way. Here, let's look. No, did it? Wrong position. Okay, that's better. So I moved it so it went down instead of up, and then there you go. And then we're gonna do from the bottom. So I'm gonna go from the bottom. Go to sketch. Let me zoom in. Same thing. I'm gonna do the circle with the other circle as well. So I'm going to do a circular here to the edge and then grab the tangent circle to the line and then snaps on and then grab my center, center on out. I'm then going to select everything and then extrude uh, 60 degrees. So everything's selected. I'm going to hit remove and draft 60 degrees and I'm going to have to kind of mess with the position. Okay, so let's see um, if that worked. If not, I'm gonna have to kind of mess around with it. Oh, no, so that didn't work. So I need to figure out um, which position it's facing. So I need to maybe take it out this way. Okay, I'm gonna check. Okay, that, maybe that, that works. Okay, that's perfect. So um, for the bottom right here, I just had to um, switch the position of my draft, and then um, I kept the um, the bond the opposite the the correct position on that. So that was I like that really well. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do is create my thread on the inside um, with the same pitch as the other one. So I'm going to go up to my thread creator, um, and then I'm going to select this part in here. I'm going to use the American standard and I'm going to do, I believe the other one was one, let's see. So it's 128. So I'm going to go one divided by 28. It should be 28 around for every, 28 around for every inch. Okay. And I'm going to accept. Perfect. And then now you have a knot. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is create two drawings, one for the bolt and one for the nut. 
So I'm going to right click on this first part and I'm going to do create a drawing of uh, part one. Make sure it's forward views. I'm going to rename it instead of part one. I'm going to rename it as um, bolt drawing. And I'm going to do the same for the nut. Okay, so I just did it for the nut, and now I'm going to just dimension everything so um, it's um, accurate. And I'm actually going to create something called a, um, a note so people will know the, um, you know, the, um, the threading that's being used. Okay, and then let's see, I'm checking in. I need to know this right here. Um, and then I think that's pretty much it. And then I'm going to go to my note at the top. So I found the note at the top right here. I'm just going to go and add a note to this, um, this part right here. That's not working. <laughs> note right here. And then you can write down what the um, pitch Oops. Pitch was one twenty-six. Uh, yeah, okay. Just so you can remember. My bad. That was one twenty-eight. So let me change that. So I'm going to get out of there again. Let's double click on that. It was 128, not 126. Okay. So very fine thread pitch. And then you're going to do the same with the, um, the bolt as well. So I'm going to dimension it. So I didn't really have too much. Um, I just did the, um, the width of this and then the hole that was inside. So it says 0 0.234 and that's because it's been cut out with the thread. I just gave the thread pitch um, one divided by 28 um, or 28 threads per one inch. And then from top to bottom is one inch and then from very top to the, sorry, the, the part with the thread is one inch and top to the bottom is 1.88. So I didn't really have much over on the side. You, you can delete it, but I'm just going to leave it. And that's it. You are finished.